Hello everybody. I want to open this box of art supplies that I got from Faber-Castell. It's a try it box. It is advertised as a $30 box, but they've got a promotion going on right now that you can purchase it for $1 if you use a code try it on the website. Um, with shipping, it ended up being $10 total, and I have a feeling it was probably worth the $10, but let's open it up together and see if that's the case. Mr. Juggs wants to join in too. He's like, hey, include me. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna pop this box open and we can see what's inside. Okay, so when I open it up, I see some brown paper. I'm gonna take that off and we're gonna give that to the cat to play with. Have fun. Okay, ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here. First thing I am seeing is a gelato, matches my nails, love this color. I've never used a Faber-Castell brand of crayon like this, so um, I'm excited to try it. I've used kind of like kid version ones. I'm excited to try a professional version. What is this? Oh, it's a watercolor marker in warm gray. I like that I got a neutral color like this. I can use it to tone pictures if I want to. Okay, what else? Ooh, a little pencil sharpener. These are always handy to have. Hmm, maybe it's an eraser. Let's open it up and see. Definitely an eraser. It's a pretty hard one. It's got nice sharp edges so I can get some detail work in there. Looking pretty good. A Pit Artist Pen Fine Liner in point one. Ooh, that's a nice tiny little point. You see that? Um, this will be good to use for Inktober. Good timing for that. A watercolor pencil in light green. I'm not sure if this is a color I would use very often, but I guess I could do some foliage with this. We have, oh, it's so hard to read this metallic writing. This is polychromos in cobalt blue. It's a good color to have. It's a nice standard color. Oh, I wanted to try these. These are the matte graphite pencils. This is supposed to not have any shine. I've seen some reviews about it and I'm actually excited that this was included. It's supposed to photograph really well when you've done a picture with it. Water-based black. It just says water-based varnish. I don't know what this is. It says 9,000, hmm. maybe this, oh, a 2B, maybe it's just a 2B pencil. Hopefully there's some information included and I'll know what this is. Another pen, ooh, brush pen, nice. I love brush pens. Do you like brush pens too, yeah? Oh, can't chew it, can't chew it, buddy. Got some sample paper, which is fantastic. Black watercolor paper, which is great. Some white paper that I can use for colored pencils, so that's good. 
let's move you. You're getting too excited over the art supplies. I don't want you eating anything that'll make you sick. Okay. Ooh, three different types of watercolor paper. Cold press, cold press, and hot press. That's good. I love getting paper samples because I have a tendency to just use arches, which is fantastic paper, but I like to have other options in case something goes on sale. I can maybe purchase something to save a little bit of money. And then a book about a whole bunch of different Faber-Castell supplies. This is pretty cool. It's a nice reference to have so you don't have to go online and search online. Everything's right here. Okay, so what do I think about these supplies? Well, for a dollar or $10 with shipping, I think this is a fantastic deal. Would I pay $30 for this? Probably not. But for 10 bucks, this is great to have a sample of all of these different supplies. And honestly, these pens are probably worth, just these are definitely worth more than $10 altogether. I am going to pick a piece of paper, sketch something out quick, and just try to make a piece of art with just these supplies. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so I decided to sketch out a little rooster. I thought maybe a black rooster would work well with the colors that I got in this box. So that's what we're going to be trying. Um, I did it with the graphite pencil that came in the little box. I used the eraser a couple times to fix some mistakes. They work great, it's a pencil and an eraser. Okay, so before I put any color on my rooster, I want to experiment a little bit with the supplies that I received. I'm not sure how these will layer on top of each other because I don't know that all of these are meant to actually be used together. For example, this might be a little bit too waxy to go underneath a watercolor pen. Um, I know my pencils will probably go over or under anything. The matte pencil will probably go over anything. Um, yeah, so before I start experimenting and playing on the rooster, I want to actually try these supplies out. I'm going to be using my Kuretake brush pens as well as this cheap little nylon brush. I don't know how this will act with a brush, so I don't want to use my really good brushes. I don't want to use, you know, my... 20 and 30 dollar brushes on something that's a little bit waxy so i'm going to use my cheap brushes for that other than that i'm only going to be using supplies that i got in my box i'm going to probably speed up this portion of the video and then do a voiceover just to explain my thoughts as i'm playing with it so the first thing i'm trying is the gelato it is definitely pretty waxy feeling it is um, dissolving pretty well on this paper Later on, when I actually go and paint the rooster, you're going to notice that it doesn't dissolve well on the, um, on the hot press paper. But here in my notebook, it's dissolving pretty well, and I'm happy with it. The watercolor marker is amazing. It dissolves very well. It's very easy to layer. The same thing with the watercolor pencil. Dissolves easily, minimal pressure, minimal water needed, and becomes even more vibrant when water is added. The polychromos... Works like a colored pencil. I've used polychromos before. I have a basic set of them and I do enjoy them. The pit pens, I let dry for about 30 seconds before I um, tried to use water over it. They did bleed a little bit. They didn't um, completely feather out, but there was definitely some leaching onto the paper. So I didn't love that. Um, I knew that meant I was going to have to use them on top of dry media and then not use water over them. Um, the next issue I noticed is with the watercolor marker. I can't use it over the gelato. It did exactly what I expected it to do. It started to pick up the wax onto the tip of the marker and um, 
I know that could ruin the marker if it's done repeatedly. So I'm going to have to make sure on my rooster that I use the watercolor marker underneath the gelato. Um, that's not really a style of how I would typically work. So right off from the get-go, I'm not loving the gelatos. I'm not saying other people wouldn't like them. Just for my process, it's not my favorite. And right here, you can see it is not blending out at all on this hot press paper. I will say the hot press paper is very impressive because I layered it and layered it and layered it with different media and I was scrubbing the heck out of it and it didn't pill. So this is really strong, durable paper. Um, it didn't buckle at all, even though I had it loaded down with water. So I am very, very impressed with the paper. Um, again, the gelatos, not so much. The watercolor marker was fun to work with. It blended really easily with water and then I would let it dry and then I would go over it a little bit more to add some detail. Um, it was a fun way to use watercolor pigment. I don't know that I would intentionally buy more of these markers. However, I don't like that they're not refillable. Um, I find the idea of just throwing away plastic markers to be very wasteful. I like using Copics because they're refillable. I like using watercolor pans because they're refillable and just not as not as wasteful and not as expensive. Um, you, you get more bang for your buck when you're buying something almost in bulk if you're buying a tube of watercolor. The green pencil was fun to use. It dissolves really well with my brushes. And it did blend pretty well with a light wash of the gelato. It was actually the only thing that played well with the gelato. Um, I don't mind the idea of watercolor pencils because you do get a little bit more pigment in the pencil format than maybe you would in the marker. Um, and you can use it for detail work. You can you know, sharpen it and layer it over itself. So I, I don't mind the idea of watercolor pencils. I have darn watercolor pencils that I use on occasion. So um, this one definitely feels a little bit more higher end and a little bit higher quality than the darn watercolor pencils. And then the pit pens drew beautifully. They layered really well over the watercolor marker not so well over the gelato. Again, it's just too waxy to use with a lot of these other water-based media. Um, my reservation with the pit pens, I've owned them before. They're just, again, wasteful. They're not refillable. Once you use them up, you got to toss them, throw them away, and buy more. So they're kind of expensive when compared to the uh, Copic fine liners, but they work really well and it, it was a pretty good deal to get them in this box. I wish the matte pencil had worked over this water-based media. Unfortunately, I just think it didn't have enough tooth of the paper to grab onto and I wasn't able to um, really see how it performed at least not on this rooster. Um, I think I'm going to just try to do a drawing with it on its own. All right, so the rooster is done. I definitely had fun playing with these supplies from Faber-Castell. Um, I'm not sure that I would use them together again. They just don't really all mesh together well. The gelato... Probably should only be used with other gelatos. Um, it, they didn't play well with the other supplies. I'm really not a big fan of the way it blended out either. This could have been because I did it on the hot press watercolor paper. Maybe just the way it grabbed onto the paper was a little bit difficult. Um, the pit pens are great. My only complaint with them is they're not refillable, so I find them kind of wasteful. I do like my Copics better because I can refill them. 
I'm a huge fan of the Polychromos and the watercolor pencils. They're pretty much top of the line. It doesn't get too much better than this. Um, great colors to work with for my rooster. The matte pencil, again, just didn't mesh well with these supplies. The watercolor marker was really fun to layer with. I'll definitely use it in future projects, but again, it's not refillable, so it feels wasteful when I can just use a pan of watercolors. Overall though, I am happy I purchased this box of supplies. I know I'm not missing out on the pit pens and the watercolor markers, so I'll probably just stick to purchasing the watercolor pencils and the polychromos in the future. Um, are there any other companies that do sample boxes like this? If you know of any, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to try some more out. Thanks for watching. See you later.